Pike. It's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Spring, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe Flower Cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. Okay, time to head downstairs. Man, the latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. The world really doesn't deserve Feanor. Alexandra the Bard will ride again. This must have been Gabe's. Huh. 
That's a long list. And I bet he would have gotten through it. Test, test. Check, check. Check. Holy shit, you own a skirt? Hey, guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Oh, rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Text me when it's ready. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. So then, where's the after party this year? After party? There's no graceful way to Come sample on. everything on this table. Young man like yourself, you must know what the haps is. The world's most Honestly, unnecessary vodka pushed. delivery system. I'm calling it a night soon. My goodness. What is this town coming to? Stuff Used is to be just that awesome. the spring festival wasn't Maybe complete till everyone was either asleep in the park or in hey, someone Steph. else's bed. <laughs> Must have been pretty wild back in your day. My day? I'm talking... Maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. This is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude, thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course.
See you in a bit, Steph. Eleanor must be relieved that the festival is finally here. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. So, we doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? Who's going first? Just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> the decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. I better get going. Enjoy your night. You too. Oh, Mr. Lantern, I love what you've done with your bar. I love that the radio station broadcasts live from the park. What, no marshmallows? Come on. So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Get it. It happened last year. Yep, I remember it clear as day. It's been a hell of a month. But this makes it all worthwhile. Jed loves this town so much. It's inspiring. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And... Two-faced bitch. I don't think Ryan can go a day in his life without being helpful to someone. Hey, how's it coming? Oh. Good. I'd say the chances of starting a fire are low to medium low. <laughs> Can't wait to see this mystery band tonight. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got, um, merch. Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. Anyway, oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after. Excuse me, 
I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after. 232. 233. 234. Wow. This is a beautiful model. And the poor bastard is so drunk, he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. So I jump in there after him. Took him in. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep from such a little devil. Really? Come on. <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. Why do I do- This is impossible, right? Mission accomplished. Should I not have worn cologne? Is that too try hard? Maybe I didn't wear enough. Or maybe it's the total lack of saying anything. Crap. Was I supposed to give him a hug? Does he think that I think it's not a date? Aw. Look at the hang of this one day, or not. Time to kill. Might as well wander around and be social. Okay, so there's this young farm maid in the elvish Thank you, Steph. Steph. Thanks, Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. Along the way, she picks up mercenaries. Good luck with that, sign. The kind she never expected to be friends with. Man, Haven really parties at this festival, huh? Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. Next morning, he shows up at my door with a box of chocolates. Chocolates! I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. Well, we gave it a shot. Oh, stop, Mr. We didn't mm -hmm. hack it in the mm -hmm. ice cream biz here. after all. We're not but at least we gave it a shot. Yet. Sounds like they've reached the end of their rocky road. I'm the worst. Couldn't have said it better myself.
No, Mom, it's not an emergency. Trust me, I'm fine. It's just, uh, Typhon is really... I'm sure Jed's around the festival. Maybe I can say hi. Where there is beer, there are builders. Should tell Mac that I heard the call. He deserves that much, at least. Grand opening tomorrow. Free soup and. I guess Ducky's not the festival type. Hey, Ducky. Evening, Alex. Everything okay? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. You're an awful liar. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. I'm right as rain. I guess Ducky's not the festival type. It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha, sounds like Ducky's got a story to tell. Hey, Ducky, who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. 
Okay. There's got to be more I can do for Ducky. Okay. Tell me what I need to know to help him. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi. I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you... Uh, oh, Ducky. It's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. I know that song. Poor Ducky. Maybe there's something I can do. Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest? That's right. You met Tabitha here, didn't you? In the Lantern. Yes, I did. Being here on that night was the luckiest I've ever been. Did you actually carve that wooden bear? Grana? <laughs> sure did. That was a long time ago. The Spring Festival must have been important to you two. Indeed. We were married at the festival. We both loved it so much. Give me one sec. How did you... They're playing your song. Let's dance.
You know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. <laughs> that was Tab's. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very welcome. Enjoy the festival. Sounds like Ryan is ready for me. I should head outside. 